Welcome back friends. In this video, we are going to uh, implement uh, writing test cases for control layer. As we discussed in the previous video, we wanted to test layer by layer. Now we are going to start with control layer. Okay, then we will do presentation, then DO layer. Finally, we will do one end to end testing, integration testing. Okay. I, I have already done the implementation for uh, testing. Let me close all the window. So these are product control, right? In the last today I have shown the demo for crude operation of product, add product, uh, get product by ID, and then get all products, then update product by ID, then delete product. F now we have to write a test cases for these three REST API, for these three five REST API. We are not writing test cases for service classes. We we have to write a test cases for our risk controller. Okay. In the test folder, there is a one controller package. I created one controller package called product uh, controller. Inside a package, there is one class called product controller test. See here, here I have implemented one, two, three, four, and five. Five test cases I implemented. If you want to write a test cases for uh, controller layer, we need to use a web MEC. Spring Web MEC, okay, uh, Web MEC test. There is a uh, annotation called Web MEC test, okay. If you want to test a control layer, we need to use one annotation called at Web MEC test. This at Web MEC test coming from Spring framework itself. It's not a part of Marketo. It's not a part of Marketo. See here, it is coming from Spring framework only, okay. Then we need to give a context configuration. What it means context configuration? Here we need to tell which controller you want to test. Which controller you want to test. I want to test product controller alone. In your project you may have many controller class, right? Whenever you start a Spring Boot application, all controller class get loaded inside a context. Spring context. I don't want to do that. I want to uh, do particular control alone. Whatever test case, whatever controller class I want to test, I want to load only that particular controller. So that's the reason I'm saying here context configuration classes equal to product controller dot class. Here we can pass multiple classes also. Okay. Then at auto wire mock MEC. There is a one class called mock MEC. We have to use that. This mock MEC coming from again it's coming from Spring framework. Again, it's coming from Spring Framework. Okay. What is the use of this mock MEC at web, web, web MEC context? Web, sorry, web MEC test. If you want to create a, if you want to write a JNU test for uh, your REST API, your controller class, we need to use this annotation. Then we need to tell which controller class you want to test. Then I want to create a mock environment. Whenever you start the Spring Boot application, what will happen? Your Spring Boot uh, we start all the configuration, right? All the configuration, your MEC con configuration, IOC container, whatever it is, whatever con DB configuration, everything will get loaded whenever start the Spring Boot application. Okay, but we don't have to load everything, right? We need to test only uh, presentation layer, that is controller part. We need to be, I am saying this is a presentation layer, this is a uh, model layer, this is a DO layer also we can say. So this controller layer we need to we need to test. For that we don't have to load a service class. We don't have to load DO class. Okay. We need to load only controller class. Then, if you want to load any controller class, there are some dependent right? inbuilt dependent API. We need to load that dependent API is called as a MEC API. There is a lot of uh, uh, API internally will work. For example, let's say dispatcher alert. There are many many APIs there. Through that API, through the through those uh, class only, we need to load our uh, presentation layer, our control layer, right? So, if you want to load those libraries, uh, the mock MEC is very useful. Mock MEC create a mock environment. Mock MEC create a mock environment for us. It 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 will not create a real environment will create a mock environment we need to auto add that mock environment mock mvc using you can create a mock mvc environment 
that is the reason i am saying auto add mock mvc then i am here i am saying mock bin generally if you want to mock any class we need to use mock mock class right in the in the mock utility we, we, we used to we use one class called mock using mock we can mock the particular class but in the spring framework there is another annotation called mock bin what is the use of this mock bin now this product manager service is a service class right this service class annotated with add service annotated with add service that means this particular service class deployed or registered inside a ioc container or spring context inside ioc container or spring context this particular service registered if you want to use this particular service what you have to do we need to use at auto wire the, when you look at the product controller we, we here i am saying at auto wire i am defining this particular class product service project product manager service what is the meaning of this when you say auto wired your spring framework look this object inside ioc container right so this this object available inside ioc container in our pro, in, in our product controller test i cannot say at auto wire product manager service because this already created a mock mec uh, one fake mec created okay now i want to create another fake object that is a mock object that mock object we can create using mock bin whenever you say at mock bin you are uh, testing environment what it will do it will create a one product manager service that is a not a real object registered in the ioc container it's a fake object for testing purpose it creating a mock object inside the ioc container inside a uh, container so that's the reason we are saying mock bin if you use auto wire it never work because we are already creating a mock environment in that mock environment we need to register one mock bin that mock bin is a product manager service so now we have created a mock mec and we created a one mock bin which class uh, sorry uh, now we created a mock bin why we are creating this mock bin here what is the reason the reason is instead of product controller we have defined this product manager service we have auto wired that meaning this product controller highly available sorry this product controller highly dependent on this particular service class highly dependent on this particular service class why because whenever call any api any rest api what's happening here i am calling i am using this product manager service right through this product manager service only i am connecting to the database i am fetching the product then that product i am displaying as a response to the customer so without this line without this line this particular api never work never work okay so how do we how we can test what is the way of test the way of testing is we have to mock that service class <laughs> that mocking process done by through mock bin whenever say at mock bin it will register uh, product manager service as a fake as a mock okay now we have uh, created a mock mvc we have created a mock uh, product manager service then we need to implement then we need to implement the test method whatever method you want to test for that method we need to write a one test case now i want to write a test case for add product okay whenever call this api what is the url of this api api slash product whenever call this product sorry whenever call this uh, url this method get invoked whenever invoke this method what will happen it will connect the data db it will create a product after creating product it will create the it will return the new product as a response that response we are showing inside a customer one successful call it, this will return new product as a response that response i want to test that response data i want to test that is my intention i don't want to test inside a save method so i don't want to test this line just i want to return a new product then inside the product we have some content json this folder converted as a json right that json content i want to test first i want to check this method return uh, created my intention is i want to check this method is created that meaning this api successfully called after created then i want to check content of this product what is the content available inside a product json that i want to uh, that i want to test if it is everything's okay then i want to pass this test case
Really, I don't want test inside a save method. Only whatever code I have written, that line only I want to test. That's the reason I am mocking this product manager service. Okay. Now, uh, let me open uh, Postman. So if you want to call this endpoint, if you want to call this endpoint, we need to pass this request object, right? Request data we need to pass. That request data we are passing part of this case. Here I am constructing the request body here. Request body. Then here I am constructing product object. One product object. When product manager service dot save by passing any product, by passing any product, then return this product object in the spring uh, web web means it test web web means it test i am saying in the web web means it test environment i am saying whenever call this save method whenever call this save method please return this object don't call save method whenever call save method don't call this real save method please return this product object i am saying okay then i am uh, constructing the request builder for testing request builder request builder mock mvc request builder mock mvc request builder dot which url you want to call i want to call api slash product this url i want to call right this url is a post method that's the reason i'm saying dot post dot post inside the dot post method we need to pass that right url what is the right url here this is the right url right if you want to call this method we need to pass this api slash products so we need to pass that right url then dot content content this url expecting some request body right that request body we have to pass here i define the request body that request body i am passing here then content type is application json that is normal after defining your request with your with a valid url now this is the time to call that particular API. For that, mock MVC, mock MVC. So we are using this particular class, mock MVC dot perform. Dot perform. We need to pass this request builder object. Request builder object. Then dot and accept. What is your ex expecting? I want to. If it is success, the status must be created because i am i am i am sending as a created status right once object is created i am saying http status as a created that's the reason here i am checking once the url executed my expectation is my my expected status is created then return if it is created this test case get passed after returning the response the response it will come to mvc result mvc result in the MVC result, there is one method called get response, get content as a string. Get content as a string. Whenever send this object, send this request, what will happen? We are getting some response here, right? When you check the previous video, there is a, some response will come with a valid primary key ID, ID, name, description. After successful saving inside database, we are getting that record as a response here. That response will be returned here. That response will be returned here. Then uh, that response here I am printing. Then I'll, I'm, I want to test my expected output is there or not. Okay. Whatever value, whatever data here I am passing that value, this product come as a response here. Whatever product object here I am populating, that product object only come as a response. The reason is whenever I call product service, don't call the save real method instead return this product whatever product here i constructed that product should return once returned by this save method what will happen that product convert as a json our mock mvc convert that result will be returned here that result i am taking from get response dot get content as a string here we will getting response data as a string json string json object we are getting as a string here okay here i am printing that now i want to check what is the value here uh, mentioning here 10 
apple then this is apple test case then 300 i want to test any one of the value here okay uh, whatever value here i'm populating i'm expecting that value here also so i'm using json asset asset equals expected value name colon apple that is name attribute should contain apple um the, the response this is a response right this response must have apple value in the name attribute that is my test cases here okay now i'm going to check See here response as a string this response is printing here whatever uh, data i am populating in the product object that data that product object printing uh, printed as a response here then after printing i am checking asset equals the name attribute contain apple or not so that also pass if you change apple one this test case failed Yeah, test case is failed because I changed the value, right? Expected value, I changed. Hmm. See here, changed apple one. You can see the error. See, expected apple one, but response is a apple. The response, what your response for constructing apple, right? But expected is apple one. That's the reason it's failed. Okay, one more thing. Um, here, um, in the products product manager service we are saying that whenever uh, a call save method please don't call the save real method instead of that just returning product i'm saying okay we'll ensure that it's a, it's calling or not okay now i'll going to give a breakpoint here inside the product manager service i am giving breakpoint okay also in the product product controller the save method add product i am i am giving a breakpoint here now i'll go into run this test case let's see what's happening debug in the debug mode we need to run So debug point I put here, so it's coming to the add product control class. Now when I say next, it's supposed to go inside a product service, here should go. But it never go because in the market of framework, sorry, in the spring uh, testing framework, we have, we have given instruction, whenever call save method, don't call save real method, instead just return product we're saying. Whatever product here we are uh, uh, populated, that product should return. That's the instruction we are saying here. Now I'm going to say next. It will come directly here because it's not calling. 
save method. Okay. Mm -hmm. See whatever data the data is coming here. Okay. If you understand uh, this method, you can you can easily understand other methods also. Okay. Now uh, I want to test uh, uh, this method. Now get product by ID. Whenever pass any ID, I want to check the product. Uh, I I want to check the pro the product response is uh, returning properly or not. Okay, just, uh, just I want to check this API. Next is I want to check this particular method. Whether pass product ID, I want to check this particular API returning response properly or not. That's it. Okay. So here I am constructing the one product object, pro product object. Then when product manager service dot get product by ID by passing any long, any long, any long object, that is any product ID if you pass, then please return this product. Whatever product here I constructed, you need to return only that product while calling a get product by ID from the service class. Well, when calling get product by ID from the service class, Please don't call this real method. Instead of that, return this object I am saying to the testing framework. And then I am constructing the request using mock MEC request builders dot get. This is a get method, right? This is a get method. Get method. So uh, I am using a get here. Get. I am passing API product slash product ID. So this is a product ID is a path variable. When you look at this controller class here, I am passing the path variable, right? So we need to pass the path variable. For the path variable, I am passing value here. Comma 10. Then content type is application.json. Then mock MEC perform. I am passing this request builder. When you whenever say passing, whenever invoke perform this particular API get invoke. Particular API get invoke. Uh, it will come to here, it will call this particular method. Whenever we call this method, we given the instruction to the testing framework, don't call this real method. Instead of that, call return this particular product I am saying. So it will return that product. It will return that product as a response here. As a response here. Uh, now if you want to take that response, we have to say MEC result get response dot get content as a string. Now this product <laughs> come as a JSON string, that JSON string is happening here. I am printing here, then I am checking them attribute contain mango. That's it. Okay, test case is passed. The data is printed here. Then after printing, I'm checking asset equals of asset equals right. Uh, yeah, asset equals of name contain mango. Then test case should pass. Okay. The next test case is a get all products. This uh, API return array of products. This API return array of products. I want to test this particular API. Here I am uh, creating an array list object. Then I am creating a two product object. One is apple, another is a mango, uh, orange. Then these two product object I am adding into product list. Then in the testing framework, I am giving the information to the testing framework. Whenever call, uh, that is whenever call this particular API, particular endpoint, uh, this particular method get called. Whenever call this method from the product manager service, don't call this real method. I am saying don't call this real method. Instead, just return the product list which I populated here. This product list returned by this API while testing. Once uh, returned that API, I am capturing that response here, MEC result. A mock MEC dot perform. When I say mock MEC perform, I am passing request builder. The request builder contains this particular uh, endpoint, right? So this will call this method. This will call this, this method, then return return this product list return this product list that there is that's the instruction i given here 
whenever call this particular get all products please return this product list i'm saying so this perform method return this product list and uh, the pro product list available in the mec result from the mec result i'm saying mec result dot get response dot get content as a string so this uh, this product list return as a json string instead of response variable now that response variable i am printing here then i am checking then here i am checking json dot asset equals in that product json array this array right the, in the product json array in the name attribute contains apple and orange this return two product here i am checking the two product contain apple and orange orange that meaning that test case is passed here i am checking the status is coming coming as a okay success if it is success the test case is passed after that i want to do one more test here i am getting the content in that content i am checking the name attribute contain apple and orange if it is both the value available in the json array i am passing these test cases okay let me check now The test case is passed. Okay, see here, it's printing that array, entire array. Okay. If you're going to change any value here, I'm going to change orange equal to orange one. So test case failed because it clearly mentioned here. See our orange one, but found is orange. That the reason is failed. I am changing to back to orange. The net the next test case is updating. As usual, I am constructing the product object. For update also we need to consider the request body right so i am considering request body and i uh, am constructing the product object here i am saying whenever call save method from the product manager service don't call save real method instead return this product i am saying so it will never call the save method instead of that it will return the product class product object then save method accepting product type right so i am passing here any product any any product type class can accept here i am saying that is the meaning of this then I am constructing the request build, uh, request using request builder. The this update right, so I am calling a put. So put I am passing the right uh, URL, right URL. Then content. What is the request body? This request body I am passing here. Content type is application JSON. So request builder is constructed. Then I am passing the request builder in the perform method from mock MEC. When I call perform method, request builder call this endpoint by passing this request body now whenever call this api uh, inside this method uh, this will call this method right so here i am saying that don't call that real method don't call this real method instead call this instead return this product i am saying so that product returned here in the mec result from the mec result i am taking the response as a json string i am assigning the json string to a response variable here i am printing that then i am verifying that if that particular response contains short particular response contains short here i am passing short only right so we need to check with short let me check this
Yeah, test case is passed now. The next test case is a delete by user ID. I want to check this API, delete API. As usual, here we don't want to confirm any request body. Request builder, request builder, mock MEC request builder dot delete because we are calling a delete method, right? Finally, we are calling a delete method, delete mapping. So, delete passing the right URL, then contact the publication JSON mock MEC dot perform. Whenever say whenever call the whenever call perform this URL call called by that uh, our testing framework, then the response is assigned to MEC result. Here the in this particular method does not return any response, returning a void, right? So it's written only status. Okay, that's it. So I am checking that status here. If it is okay, we are, I am considering as a this test case is pass. Okay, test case is passed. I hope you understand how to test the controller alone using WebMEC test. If you have any question, please write a comment. Definitely, I will reply back to you. Okay, in the next video, we are going to see how to test only this particular service class. I don't want to call DAO layer, I want to test only service class method. Then whatever logic implemented in the method i want to test that logic that's it that part we'll going to see in the next class okay until then bye bye from suresh still not subscribe this channel please subscribe it share this video to your friend circle click bell icon for regular updates thanks for watching this full video